Right yeah, I, I saw it on the map and I was like, yeah, we'll go around here. And <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, actually the ski meadow or whatever it is, it's closed officially. Partially because it's not ready, snow-wise, and secondary because the virus situation this year. But according to the police officer, 30th of this month it will be open with restricted access or whatever. But it's good to know, definitely. Look at the hood. So here's a mount hood with a parking lot that is not accessible right now. The furthest you can get is that police car over there that will turn you around right now. A waterfall, it's like, I can hear it, it's like one eighth of the mile. So good thing is that still don't need a snowshoe although I have my winter boots there is an old snow which is frozen again and the fresh snow it's only like I don't know 10 inches maybe but you can walk in it so there is a trail here and that's why we don't need a snowshoe so that's good okay now which way this way or this way? I can hear the waterfall is there. Let's go here. Beautiful, beautiful. I will take a picture right here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna try anything fancy. It's as sharp as it is. I think I'll go with 16 millimeter prime. Yeah. perfect framing right there take probably closer up shop as well and vertical this way as well probably and of course as soon as I set the shot the light is gone that's the rule so I will wait a few minutes for the light to appear on the hillside so I have a little bit of you know 3D feeling into it. We'll see. It's getting better, it's now like a little bit subdued light a little bit. So yeah.
okay, the light is kind of okay now. It's not too harsh, it's not totally overcast, so I can see some sort of, you know, 3D effect, <laughs> if I want to play that way. But anyway, this is basically the composition what I have. Um, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. I'm not really worried about the uh, foreground element. Just take a shot as it is right here. I think I can get in the front of, in, into that river and take the chance to not slam into the water and take a close up from that water, from that snow or something and you know with a waterfall but I'm not gonna take the risk today I'm not really prepared for that but what I will do I will go on the on the bridge and I will take a shot from the bridge because also if I need to get down I would probably most likely destroy that nice smooth snow Thing is, I don't see the whole waterfall, but I see the nice bottom, the kind of snow bridge here. So I'll take probably like a partial shot of the waterfall, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I was trying to figure out the composition, but actually this is like off-center, there's an empty space. Is that one tree I like, I like the flow here like that. I'm not really sure if I like the composition, but I took the shot already. Um, I'm thinking now explore that shot a little bit further, so let's do that. Okay, went a little bit out on the trail, not too far, just to, just to see a little bit of forest. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's actually a beautiful trail, so lots of people is here. I've never been here before, definitely should go here. Or you can go here to the ski resort, and it's literally right there. In the snow, that's what I prefer, just go up. <laughs> Don't need to snowshoe as much. And you see nice scenery just all over the place here. The winter wonderland, you know what I mean? Why still have it? For that thing. <laughs> anyway. Bye. We'll come again here for sure. Beautiful, beautiful little falls, especially now in winter. Again, a light wasn't perfect, but I always complain about life. <laughs> beautiful, for the first time, I like it. Highly recommend it. Short trail, 
beautiful scenery. What else we can wish for?